Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. My working environment is about to drastically change with this building that my grandfather is currently erecting for me. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get right into it. Wouldn't it be great to just have the mill undercover? I know that I've probably received hundreds of comments from people telling me that we need to put the mill undercover. I'd love to do that. I'm sure it might happen eventually someday if we last that long, but that's not going to happen anytime soon just because of, there's, there's, there's a lot of factors. I'm not going to go into it. Just know that it's not something that's doable for us right now. That being said, there are a few things that could be made better. Um, the simple fact that I get pelted with sawdust all day kind of sucks. So my grandfather is trying to fix that for me by building me a little shack to work in and it's actually elevated. It completely changes the game. I am curious to see how it will work once it's done. Right now it's just uh, the skeleton of it, but he's up here working on it and I don't know, it might take him another few days, I'm not quite sure. He's been working on it already for quite a few days yet, so I want to show you guys. I'd love to have him talk a little bit on today's video as well, tell you guys a little bit about what he's doing. Um, we're putting in windows, all kinds of stuff, so let's get over there and hear from him about what's going on. He's been working on it all morning while I've been actually in it running the mill. So it's kind of been interesting, but he shouldn't have too much longer to go. Let's talk to him and see what he has to say about it. Your BFL. Quack, quack. Okay, um, so what's up with this thing? What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna, we're gonna wrap it with uh, 12 inch one by 12s. We got a wind. <clears throat> we got a window on this side, so it's going to let all of the uh, ventilation. She can open and ventilate there. It's a low E window that we were gifted that somebody wasn't using, so she can open it. On that end, the entry door will be a storm door, glass top and bottom. Over here. Over there. This one here is a window that will probably hinge at the top and swing open, so you got ventilation here. You can have a window on that other corner that's that will open. What we're doing is using up all the windows we got around. <laughs> but uh, we're trying to design it so she can, or whoever is operating, uh, can be in there out of the cold wind because you're just sitting still. It's just really hard to deal with. Wind, dust, dust coming off the mill, and uh, you gotta take care of him, what can I say? <laughs> so uh, we're gonna we're gonna fix it up. We'll just call it M's dollhouse. And uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put Wayne's coating or drywall on the inside. She's just gonna have to live with that. I'm okay with it. But I'm getting ready to put the rafters up now. I've got the metal for it already, some stuff I've had. We'll put metal on top, we'll insulate that so that she doesn't get it an oven effect out of it. And I think I think it'll work good. We may end up having to put a radio and stereo fans and all that stuff, but we'll worry about that when it's over. Somebody sent us two uh, mister fans, uh, fans that like mist. Um, and I was thinking pulling out the generator and seeing what I can do with that. Um, it's kind of- How big? How big are Just they? mini ones. Old they're smaller. Ones? Yeah, they're little ones. We, I, we can put one in there. Put and a then... little solar thing on here that runs fans like that other now thing. that and... is a good idea. Because that's what we need. Because with the generator, it's like I... It's a long ways away. It is a long ways away. But really I think is. it'll make it more comfortable and, and uh, you can see everything. All the windows are low enough. She can see uh, 360 around here for, for clients. And uh, for the most part, it's going along as expected. It's level and square, so that's what we want. Level and square. 
It's amazing how much lumber it takes to build one of these if you want it to stay put yeah. and not blow away. I'm gonna strap, I'm gonna strap the building to this. That'll never go away. And I'll put a couple of leg leg anchors on it. I wouldn't really think that that would be a concern, but I guess with some of the winds we get up here. Oh yeah, no, if we strap it here, it can't. And, and uh, I mean, but it's coming from that direction, the one that was lifting this thing. Yeah. Back over there, so we'll make we'll make sure it stays put. It's heavy enough. If it blows away, it's going to damage something. <laughs> That's right. But no, it's it's a project. It's taken a while. Yesterday it was hot, and I wasn't going to come out today. But it's so nice that. How much longer do you think it will take you? Framing wise, I'm just about done. I got to put a few yeah. cripples in here to support the lumber, the siding. But I can start siding it right away. I need to put that window in. I think first. Are we siding it with pine or hemlock? Pine. Pine. Yeah, yeah, we might as well. Everything's pine here. It'll be, it'll last as long as we do. <laughs> yeah. So, no, it's It's, it's cheap along. and it's everywhere. It's not something you're going to be moving around. Like, no, I, I'm guessing probably not. I think it's where it needs to be, though. Yeah, I skidded it just a little bit so I could get my siding in here. I'll build you a little platform out there for your control tower and you'll be able to leave that control tower in here. Oh and that's part of what I'm excited about because I'll tell you having to hold that thing, wrapping it up every day, hauling it in and out of the office, that, I'll, that sucks. I'll cut a hole in the floor right there so that you can run it down through the floor and it's not in the way of the, the yeah. door. Well thank you Grandpa. I'm gonna show them kind of the inside here. Okay. Show them the view that I have. I'm going to keep cutting rafters. All right, sounds All right. good. Welcome to my humble abode. From up here, I have a lot better view of what's going on. Yeah, sure, it is harder to tell the level of the log not being like down there. I can't tell whether I need to put up a roller or not. I end up cutting a lot of slabs way too big for Jade. She she always comes over and it's like way too big Emerald. I'm just like sorry sorry but um yeah from up here I can see what's going on a lot better it's definitely an improvement um it looks a lot diff different from up here doesn't it now we've got to get back to milling but I'm going to set up the tripod kind of farther out so you guys can get an outer perspective of what the whole situation is looking like so if you guys want to stick around a bit longer we're going to mill up this log here on a different note, if you guys haven't tried our coffee yet, you've got to. I'm never going to get tired of telling you guys about it because our coffee is coffee that you can't find anywhere else. It is entirely unique. So if you haven't tried it, I'll always leave a link to our merch shop down in the description, lumbercapital.shop. Check it out. Let us know what you think. But let's get back to milling now. it cut like crap and I just put it on <sighs> that's okay we'll just have to change it again here before we finish up with this log because I literally stopped I'm just like we can't continue to cut this this is pointless customers hate seeing any kind of wave in the lumber I really noticed they'll just give you shit reviews if they come and your lumber's wavy that's a really big pet peeve of customers and I completely understand so I try and go back and fix it if it waves which ends up screwing up the log quite a bit but it's either that or crappy lumber what do you want so um, as I also noticed like when you get up into the top wood of hemlock the knots are just so hard compared to the lumber that even a brand new blade struggles so I'll leave you guys here but thanks for watching 
I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up as always and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram at Lumber Capital Logyard for extra content. Other than that, I'll see you back here next time. Bye.